Around 5.30 in the morning, we were called to a, a car accident. Down on the EB Island, which is the, the area between Lake Stevens and Everett, kind of the sloughs running through there. So it was on its roof in a ditch full of water. When we rolled up, um, I felt that if there was someone in there, that it was going to be a body recovery. But then they heard a woman screaming from inside the car. So instantly thinking that there's somebody alive in the car underwater, uh, it kind of just jumped, jumped into action. Everyone jumped into action, brainstorming how to save this woman's life. Within that ditch, you probably had 150, 200 years of experience of vehicle extrication. Um, but we don't practice in the water. But Chris Harrett had just been through rescue swimmer training. He dove into the 40 degree water. The, the cold was so cold that it made your skin burn. And it was really hard to hold my breath at first, but the car was upside down and with the front of the car, the engine side, tipped down a little bit. So there was an air pocket near the back seats. And fortunately she found her way there. It was just, uh, I mean, the chances of that are so small. The dangerously cold water meant he couldn't hold his breath for long, but he kept going back. I could feel that she was uh, kicking, and I could hear her screaming when I was underwater. Someone suggested Chris try putting on one of these so he could stay under longer. It's what firefighters wear when going into a fire, but not usually water. It was a, a huge help and able and being able to locate her but also get her untangled so that when they did get the car door opened up, it was a quick and easy job of getting her out of the vehicle. The young woman had hypothermia but was eventually fine. She and her family came back to the fire station to thank Chris and all of the heroes who refused to give up on her, come cold or high water. He did an outstanding job of maintaining his composure and his professionalism, and we had a positive outcome.